All right, y'all already know LDBC. So Colorado went up against Kansas uh, over the past weekend and actually played at the Chiefs Stadium, which is pretty cool. I believe they're renovating the stadium at Kansas, but as far as Colorado, Shador Sanders for uh 266 yards three touchdowns uh travis hunter did his thing of course he had two touchdowns who's clearly the heisman winner and um of course he did his thing on defense also uh the unfortunate thing was colorado ended up losing 21 to 37 and you're probably asking well well man why you got this thumbnail up during the game shador sanders gets frustrated and end up pushing the referee now this actually is a second incident i seen the first incident i meant to make a video about it where the ball boy smacked the ball out of, tried to smack the ball out of Shiloh's hand. And uh, Deion Sanders Jr., a.k.a. Bucky, came up and pushed him. And look, man, Shador is about to be probably a top three pick, right? You're going to be the franchise of the uh, the NFL. This ain't a good look, man. This ain't a good look, Shador. Now I'm also hearing rumors that he might be suspended. Look, man, you you I understand that you have this, that y'all had this underdog mentality and I've been rooting for Colorado. But my thing is you're the quarterback. It'd be different if it was a lineman. Why even either way, that's inexcusable. But you're the quarterback of the team. Yeah, you know if you go to the NFL, this would be a uh this it's out of the question. You do something like that, don't be surprised they suspend you four or five games without pay. All this emotional, man, y'all got to calm that down, man. All 50 some of the people got to look to you to lead a team. They got to look to you to get them to a Super Bowl. And even, well, I don't know if they're going to make the Big 12 championship, but even a playoff berth. And you out here pushing referees, you know. And then when we when, when I talk about this, and just, just like the whole when, when uh, Cam Newton was critical, Shador felt some kind of way. Him and Travis Hunter felt a little bit kind of way. Oh, when a quarterback from Colorado, you know, he was uh, talking, you know, he was talking smack before the game. And then, of course, after the game, he tried to shake Shador's hand. And Shador, like, no, nah, man, keep that same energy. You got to stop taking stuff so personal, man. You're the, again, you're the franchise player. And uh, I got to blame that on coaching, man. I don't know. I mean, I, we got to start at the top with Coach Prime all the way down. But stuff like this, man, this is just, this is inexcusable. And to me, it's a reflection of the program. Because uh, when that thing happened, well, first of all, when it happened with, with his son, the, uh, Bucky, I honestly thought when he pushed the ball, boy, he was going to get fined and suspended. But I don't know. Did nobody say nothing about it? But yeah, man, you went too far. Just like, uh, was it Fred Van Leet when he put his finger and he actually and he bumped the referee in the NBA? No, nah, man. So I honestly, I support a suspension if it comes down. While it's unfortunate and I wish that this situation didn't happen, a message has to be shown that you cannot put your hands on referees, man. Especially when you're the franchise Heisman contending, uh, all these awards that he may end up winning quarterback. And what, the Giants terrible right now? The Cowboys terrible? They're looking for a quarterback, man. Could you, I'm, and I'm going to say this again, could you imagine Shador shoving a referee during the NFL game? That might be the end of his career. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it, man. I don't know if it'll be suspension, but I won't be surprised. And I'm, I'm going to go on record. I support it if it is. But let me know what y'all think.